Settle at the San Diego County Fair. Tennis reporter Fred Blankenship has the story. You know, it, it's kind of like a mix between, like, uh, Gladiators and NASCAR. If you're a fan of Battle Bots on TV, welcome to Bot Bash at the San Diego County Fair. Bot Basher Jim Snook hails from Claremont. He seems nice enough, but his partner, well, he's known as a terror. And it lifts with about uh, 900 pounds of force. So it, uh, it can lift a 60-pound robot and toss it in the air a little bit. The way it works is that some pretty bright people... I'm the chief engineer at the Neurosciences Institute. Mechanical engineering. It's all mechanical engineering. ...build some very nasty machines that push, spin, lift, and shove. This is Alien Raptor. This one, Y chromosome. What it takes to make it all work? Well, it's kind of complicated. So they're kinetic energy weapons, and what happens is you get uh, a spinning mass. You know, it could be a blade on the top, or it could be a drum that surrounds the robot. But the end result, you don't need a PhD to understand. They, like, can flip stuff and do stuff. There are even rumors that the bots are babe magnets. Hey, pretty lady, want to see my actuator? Even the announcer is robotic. Kind of like the, the MC of uh, ro robotic combat. Basically what it does is this will be focused on the announcer's face and it wirelessly transmits his face, the image, to that computer monitor. We go in three, two, one, fight! And bot bashing is not cheap. After every fight, it can cost people up to $500 to repair their warriors. That's another one of those spinners. They, they came in and I was fighting them and this is all titanium, right? And titanium's, I mean, if you just buy the material, it's expensive, but then they have to machine it. You're talking hours and hours of machine time. Because in the bot wars, playing with pain is what champions are made of. We gotta go! And even if you don't win, you and your bot live to battle another day. Oh, that was good. Actually, the guy I lost to works for me. He works in my lab at NSI, so that's going to be a good day for him. <laughs> With photojournalist Kyle Majors, Fred Blankenship, 10 News. Well, the Bot Bash was a two-day event with the winners receiving a prize of $4,000, or as Fred indicated, that's like four repairs. <laughs> Not bad. All right, Julie.